Hey everybody, it's me, Timmy Flowers Guy, and boy, do I really miss Wings Lacrosse. Remember that show I used to do called the Wings Report? Well, guess what? Coming this December, get ready for a whole new season of the Wings Report with me, Timmy Flyers Guy. I'll be covering. I'll be doing coverage, pre-game coverage, of every Wings lacrosse game this season. Get ready, folks. Get ready to bang those boards, because the Wings Report will be making its return this December. That's right. The Wings Report will be making its return to the Timmy Flyers Guy YouTube channel coming this December. Get ready. It's going to be action packed. And now, our feature presentation. What's up, Philly? We're the gang from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Let's go, Flyers! It's me, Timmy Flyers Guy, and welcome to this week's edition of Classic Flyers Theater. I'm your host, Timmy Flyers Guy, and in today's episode, we take a look back at the night Eric Langoss was inducted into the Flyers Hall of Fame. I hope you all enjoy this video and I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit story about Eric Lindros. He was one of my favorite Philadelphia Flyers. And I always had a lot of respect for Eric Lindros. And when I always think of Flyers hockey, that's the one first player I think of is Eric Lindros. Because that was the one player that I used to watch growing up. So I thought I'd do this video and, um, uh, I hope you guys like it. Good job, guys. Sophie, did you like that, honey? Mm -hmm. Was that fun? Oh. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you very much. It's like going to a place. Incredible. Better than a funeral. Good stuff. Feel good? Yeah. Oh, that was so awesome. It's really nice. Thank you. Thank you for coming up. <laughs> One of the favorite lines I remember opposing players talking about was when coaches would tell an opposing player when Eric Lindros was coming down with the puck, stand him up. <laughs> and a player would look at him like, stand him up. You stand him up. <laughs> there was never anybody like this guy. As big as he was a linebacker on skates. Steve Coates, he was maybe the greatest power forward that ever played in this league. Absolutely. Absolutely. He Like you are everywhere. <laughs> 
You know, it's uh, the special moments, and uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm trying. <laughs> Just extremely special moments where you're, you're, you feel lucky. You know, you really feel lucky. Uh, we've been here since uh, Monday. Uh, Shannon Bowes has showed us a great time. Uh, Homer set up, uh, set up a bunch of things. Uh, our whole family's been around town, and it's you know it's one of those things where people will come up with pictures from the wives' carnival, or they come up with some, you know, doing a picture at a restaurant uh, when when we were all didn't have gray hair, and you know, someone's a little younger, whatever the case may be, and it's just a, a great chuckle. Uh, um, remembering some times and some different games, and uh, we've had a we've had a great week, and. Uh, yeah, looking forward to uh, the rest of the evening. Are you going to scare the TV camera, Carl? Ready? Gentlemen, Eric Lindros! When you think of the Philadelphia Flyers, the history, the tradition, the legacy, and the moments we've all shared together in this building and in the spectrum. Only a few names come to mind right away, and only a few moments are remembered in an instant. Eric Lindros is one of those names, and number 88 will always be remembered in those great moments. Eric Lindros, from tonight until eternity, your number 88 will never be worn by another Philadelphia Flyers player. In honor of all the contributions you have made to our organization in the city of Philadelphia, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, number 88, Eric Lindros, retired. Southwestern Ontario boy. I was born in London, Ontario. I, my dad was transferred out in both grade four to Toronto. So all you got in Toronto was blue and white every every night. And uh, no, I meant what I said. I mean, there's a yes, my kids are going to see blue and white a lot, but uh, we're going to teach them about about what goes on here in Philly and, and the flower organization and the, and the pride and heritage that uh, that's here. Completely different game. The skill level is, is off the charts. But yeah, there's space. Uh, the speed is there because there's no holdups. Uh, um, 
and what guys are coming out of junior with this skill too, right? It's not like a, <laughs> they're being found at 22. It, the talent now uh, is incredible. And five years from now, it's going to be even better. This game just keeps getting better. It's the best game in the world. Second shorthanded goal of the year for the Flyers. It belongs to Wayne Simmons. And this game is tied. It's a save. Rebound save. Oh. Another save. Nyberg and then it's batted out of midair. Oh, Michael Nyberg, spectacular, keeping this game tied at two. Robles save Nyberg. And the Flyers now have the chance to go the other way. It's Konechny with Couturier. Konechny up the right wing. Konechny to Couturier. He scores. It took him just 18 seconds, but Sean Couturier wins it for Philadelphia. 3-2 your final, and more than half the team went straight to Michael Neuberg to celebrate. That's a team that gets it, a goaltender. I always had fun doing it. I always had fun practicing. I had fun being on the ice, whether it was outdoors in the backyard or uh, and with buddies, or, or whether it was a a structured situation with a with a team and an organization. I, I just I just loved being out there. I just enjoyed it. It was just something that uh, a lot of my friends did, and we did it together. And we just we just kept going. And uh, best game in the world.